So I think, I think equality of opportunity is, again, a very dangerous term because in a, in a sense it necessitates some violence against somebody to, in order to equate the opportunities. What I'm interested in is maximizing opportunities. I want everybody to have as many opportunities as possible. Is it gonna be equal? Never. It's metaphysically impossible. Some of you, some, some of you, I don't know, some of you might have gone to Eton, and some of you went to a public school, you're not gonna have the same opportunities, that's just the reality. And there's no way to make it equal. So we can pretend, we can have a fiction, we can fantasize, but it's not gonna be. So what I wanna make sure is that everybody in society, rich, poor, middle class, has as many opportunities as they have. To do that, you need economic freedom. The fundamental to maximize opportunities, societies in which poor people have a lot of opportunities are free societies unregulated societies, unconstrained societies. That's where you get maximized opportunities. Now let me say, let me say something I forgot to say in my talk, and then I'll continue with the question, um, which there are a lot of. Um, there's one sense in which equality means something, politically. And that's equality of freedom. Uh, equality of rights, equality of liberty. We are all born free. You are not born a serf to anybody. You're not born a slave to anybody. You are a free human being. You should be allowed to do whatever the hell you want to do. As long as you're not hurting other people, it's none of anybody's business what you do. And yet we don't live in that society. We live in a society where the government can force you not to do what you want to do. It can, in spite of the fact that you're not going to hurt anybody and you haven't hurt anybody. Whether it's licensing laws, you know, in, in California, to shampoo hair, you have to get a license, which costs thousands of dollars. Who do you think that hurts? It doesn't hurt me. It hurts poor people who, want, who can make a living shampooing hair, but if they're going to pay $4,000 to get a license, they're not going to get at that job. They're never going to have that opportunity. So maximizing opportunities means getting rid of government intervention. It means economic freedom. It means freedom for everybody. Any attempt to equate opportunity or outcome, to make them equal, violates political equality, violates equality before the law. You're not equal before the law when you're paying a higher tax rate than somebody else. You're not being treated equally. One person is paying a lot, and one person is paying a little. And it's not an issue of you did some harm, because rich people don't do harm, they do good. I mean, assuming they're produced and assuming we live in a free market. Yeah. Um, just what you're talking about, what, would you, what do you think then about um, someone who makes more money simply? who can make more money or generate more freedom um, just by, uh, from natural, from any natural fact about themselves. So if someone- Give me an example. Take LeBron James as an example. If it's instead, I mean, you say you'll never be as good as LeBron James, yep. let's say that's because he's naturally um, oh. or born a better basketball yeah. player. Um, for the sounds of it, you say you should be able to have that opportunity to- Yeah, so, so two things. So, so clearly LeBron James was born with physical attributes that make him that make it possible for him to be a great basketball player. Good for him, you know. I was probably born with some other attributes that may be good at this, maybe, right? So the genes that we have, we have. It's what we have. What maximizing opportunities means is means that once you have a certain identity, that you have certain genes, that you are who you are, you have the ability to make choices to make you the best at that as you can be. Now, a lot of people are born with LeBron James's physique. Well, I don't know how many, but quite a few. Some people work really, really hard at it. Some people use their mental, and, and all sports is a mental activity. Those of you who do really, you know, really at the top level of sports, a lot of it's up here. LeBron James, and, and I, I don't know LeBron James that well, but I know, I've read about Michael Jackson. Mike, uh, Michael Jordan, Michael Jackson. Uh, Michael Jordan worked incredibly hard watched tape, studied his opponents, studied moves that he admired in other players, practiced them and practiced them and practiced them and worked unbelievably hard. Yes, he was born with some talent. Good for him. I was born with other talents. It, it, you know, we're all born with something. And the, the point is this. What you're born with is given. Make the most of it and let's create a society that allows people to make the most of it. Not the society that because you're born with some talent, we punish you for it. But then aren't you saying to somebody who doesn't have as much talent as someone else? Because yeah. I mean, you have to say that yeah. everyone is born with some talent. With no, they're not, they're not LeBron James level. I'm, I, don't, I don't consider myself, LeBron James is the best in the world. I'm not the best in the world in anything. But, but that doesn't bother me. But 
Does that mean you have to say to people who are just born at the worst and start, born very poor at yeah. the start of just top luck? Yeah. Including if you're born autistic or severely disabled in some other way. Which I mean, it's sad that they're autistic. You support yourself on your own. <laughs> It's sad that they're autistic. It's sad that they, they, they have some disability, whatever that disability is. But that gives you or them the right to take my stuff away from me? How, how is that moral? You talk about morality. How is it moral that somebody's need is a claim against me? Somebody's need is not a claim against you. You don't have unchosen claims. You don't have unchosen claim. There is no original sin. The fact that you were born with talent doesn't mean you owe society or anybody else something. You are who you are. Your job in life is to maximize what you do with what you have. You don't owe other people stuff. Somebody who's autistic relies, I mean autism is, is complicated, but somebody who's really physically disabled relies on the goodwill of people to help him. It doesn't make it right to force people to help him. If he deserves help, then volunteer to help him. But force should never be part of human interaction. When you introduce force into human interaction, you destroy. You destroy life, you destroy freedom, you destroy who you are.